Hey guys and welcome back to a new Jetpack Compose beginner video. In this video I will show you how you can make a pool to refresh layout in Jetpack Compose. So assume your app has some kind of network call that retrieves a list of data like here, then you often want to have this pool to refresh functionality that you can yeah, just swipe down and then refresh the list so it will load for a little moment and then it will refresh the list. We just simulate that delay here uh, but it will work just the same if you have an actual API call or something uh, something similar that takes a little moment. So here in an empty Jetpack Compose project it really doesn't take a long while to implement that. We just want to make sure that we have the same dependencies. Actually, these two dependencies are needed. Um, so uh, we on the one hand want this swipe refresh dependency from the accompanies library. So that's just an addition because the swipe refresh layout is not available in the Compose standard library yet. Um, they might add that in future and get rid of this library, but I assume that the behavior of this and the way how you implement this will stay very, very similar. And we use this view model compose dependency just to get a, a view model reference in Compose, since I want to show you how you would do that or how you would implement such a layout in an existing project where you would usually use view models. So here in main activity, well, let's actually first of all start to create that view model in our root package. We want to have our main view model. Create the class. Just make it inherit from view model. And in here, we're just going to simulate some, some loading state. So let's make that a private val is loading is equal to immutable state flow set to false initially. So initially we're not loading. And we then say we have our public immutable state flow, which we set equal to is loading as state flow. So just that UI can change this uh, value directly instead only the view model and then let's just have a function to load stuff whatever that might be so in your app it could be a list of nodes it could be a list of to do's or whatever you are trying to achieve um, and retrieve in here let's launch a coroutine in view model scope to just simulate that little bit of network delay and we just make sure that we first of all start to set true to is loading so we now start loading our data then we want to delay our coroutine a little bit. So let's say three seconds, and then we can set is loading to false again. So that just simulates our delay. And after three seconds, we will just, yeah, um, toggle back our is loading state again. So we can then update our UI. And we also want to initially load some data. So in the init block, we can say load stuff. And then we can jump back into main activity, into our UI. And in here, we now want to set up our swipe refresh layout. So on the one hand, we want to get a view model reference, which we can get with a view model. And this will simply be um, a main view model like this. Then we can, uh, we can get a reference to our is loading state. So val is loading by view model is loading collect as state. Import this, pressing Alt Enter, and there we go. And then we also want to have a third state or rather a third field here which will be our swipe refresh state. That state can be used to yeah, just manipulate the, the current state of our swipe refresh layout. We get that using remember swipe refresh state. And here we need to pass this is refreshing value. So when this is true, then our swipe refresh layout will just show the loading indicator and else it won't. And that's just equal to is loading here. So very simple. And well, where do we now pass this swipe refresh state? We want to pass that into a composable called swipe refresh. That is the composable that comes from the accompanies library. And it gives us a bunch of options here to configure that. First of all, the state is equal to swipe refresh state. And on refresh is the function that will be called when the user actually swipes down and then yeah, releases their touch and wants to refresh the list. So what happens if that happens, then we want to call our view model function to load more stuff. We can also um, configure that even more. So there are a bunch of parameters we can pass here, but let's leave it at the basics first. And I will show you what, you, what, what we could change later. And in here, that's quite important. You need to have a scrollable container. So if you have non-scrollable yeah, content here, then this refresh indicator won't actually appear. So we want to have something like a lazy column or so, or just a normal column that is scrollable. And here we pass a modifier to just make that fill the whole size of our screen. And then in here, we can just enter some dummy items, let's say 100, where each item is simply a text that says test or so. 
we can add a modifier to each item modifier fill max width um, let's also put that on a separate line um, like this oops and then we can also say padding let's say 32 dp import dp format that a bit and uh, now we should have the first testable version of our swipe refresh layout so our view model gets initialized it will then call load stuff and here we just update our is loading field delay that and update it again which our ui will then observe here it will update our swipe refresh state since we pass our is loading state in here and then this layout will make sure to actually show our progress bar so if we launch this on my device and take a look here then you can see it will start here's our progress bar which will show for three seconds we can scroll our list and we can also then swipe down to actually um, keep on refreshing it's a little bit buggy here um, if i do it with my finger then it works just fine and then we can refresh this it will show for three seconds again and refresh our list so let's see how we could customize that even though I usually recommend to not customize that unless you, yeah, except for the color maybe, but you could also customize like the text, uh, not the text, the um, the icon and the, the indicator itself. You could customize um, how far you can pull it down, but I would just leave these things at the default because that's what users are really used to. But just that you know what we could customize. We could disable the swipe so that the user can't swipe at all. That's useful sometimes. So then you would simply pass false here or any Boolean condition. We can set the refresh trigger distance to some DP amount. So how far the user can pull it down. Indicator alignment, <laughs> definitely don't use that. You could change where this indicator appears, but I don't see any reason in changing that. You could add some padding to the indicator. You could also pass your very own indicator in the cater like this which will give you a state and a refresh trigger uh, like this and then you could have your own swipe refresh indicator here passing your state passing your refresh trigger distance um, and you could also then change the color of that for example so if you want um, the background color to be color green for example then you could also change the content color so content color is color dark gray if we launch this take a look here then you will see now we have a green um, green indicator with a dark gray progress bar and is there something else we could configure here probably um, clip indicator to padding yeah that's um, so that you that it just considers padding your indicator Usually you want to leave that at true, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you implement a swipe refresh layout in Jetpack Compose. So if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, then definitely consider subscribing to this channel because then you will get two more videos every single week about all kinds of Android topics. So if you are just an Android developer who wants to get better at Android, then uh, definitely subscribe. Uh, don't miss any more videos. And apart from that, I wish you an amazing rest of your week. See you back in the next video. Bye bye.